I think every team wants to beat Stanford, um, but that's a good thing, and we put that pressure on ourselves anyways. So we want the competition and we want to play the best teams. I've been at Stanford for 13 years. It's an amazing university. I think it's probably the best option for both academics and athletics in the United States. I had great 13 years, um, coached a lot of fantastic players, and um, we were fortunate enough to win a national championship in 2011, so that was one of the highlights. We had three players win the Herman Trophy as the greatest player in college soccer. That was Teresa Noyola, Kelly O'Hara, and Kristen Press, and that was three years in a row, which was pretty remarkable. We're looking for the top players in the country, um, if not the world. Obviously, academically, they have to be very strong students. Um, on the field, I'm looking for players with good technique and good intelligence, uh, competitive spirit about them, and then also good athleticism. So yeah, it's the highest level possible to be able to come here and play. And if you come in as a freshman, you're ready to play and you're the best one, you play. Um, so it doesn't matter what year you are. The big rivals will be probably UCLA, Cal. Um, overall, though, I have a lot of respect for all the teams in our conference. I think they're all um, you know, difficult opponents. Florida State won the national championship, so um, they have a target on their back right now, so that's a team we're going to want to knock off. Um, but University of Virginia will be strong. They'll be a lot of strong teams. For me, I like the games we played. Obviously, from the back, we want to get possession and play out of the back, and it's a numerical game. So for me, if we start, if we have four in the back and they have three, I want to work the ball, four against three, up the field gradually, and then break the pressure and get to the next phase. But also playing to what the other team gives you. If they play high pressure and they commit four to our back four, we got to play it forward quickly to a target, drop it, and then go. With the professional side of women's soccer, my hope is the trend is similar to what is happening on the men's side with MLS. You know, David Beckham coming over, I think, was a big boost to American soccer. And my hope is on the women's side that we can grow it and get a league like the MLS and start to build. Because I think we're in the early stages of women's soccer growth around the world, not just in the United States, but I think globally. The future looks bright and we have a lot of talent. So it's just how we get them together and uh, how hungry they are to be successful.